Hello everyone, welcome back to some more crosswords. We're gonna, I think this is the first Saturday I've done on channel, right? I planned to do one like last week and, and then stuff happened and I didn't do it. Um, Saturdays are very difficult and I can almost never finish them without some help. So that's just an, an, uh, a warning up front. But I do want to at least show you guys how difficult they are at least once. Um, this could well be like a multi-part video where I go away for a while and come back with a, a fresh mind. I don't know. We'll see. Setting for the Golden Girls. Never seen it. Unlikely place to find bars. There's a lot of places you wouldn't expect to find bars. Like, I don't know, a space station? <laughs> uh, you know, even more unlikely than that, maybe underwater? I don't know. Um, performer at a flag lowering ceremony. I mean, the people who lower flags, like, when are flags lowered? When someone has died that you want to pay respect to, um, typically, right? Are there other occasions? Maybe. Who does it? I feel like it's mostly the um, the government, right? Uh, like on state buildings, or maybe the military does it? I'm not sure. It might be too political of a statement for the military. Uh, I don't know. Point two. Indicate? I'll pencil it in, I guess. Um, and what's this? What about this down? Word after speed or drunk? What do you say after those things? Speed limit, but not drunk limit. And anyway, we don't have five letters. Hmm. Tangle up could be an mesh. Uh, okay. Sicilian town that lost a bell to fascists in literature. I don't know. Playing craps, e.g. I always forget if e.g. means there's an abbreviation. I don't think it does. I think it, I think this just means like, for example, but I don't totally understand what it means if, when they say this versus saying, for example, or say. Um, I mean, playing craps is a, it, craps is a game of dice. It's a gambling game. I don't know. It could end with ing, but I mm, like. I really don't think dicing is a word, right? Well, okay, obviously it's a word, but. It means like cutting stuff up and doesn't mean playing craps. Once over. A once over is a scan. I'm pretty happy with that. So it indicates looking okay now. Just a heightened sense of awareness per John Lennon. I don't know. Master Melvin of baseball. Don't know. Tank alternative. There's a military tank, there's a gas tank, there's an aquarium tank. Um, there's a tank in like video games, like an MMO or something, but that's not what they're talking about here, you know, compared to like a, a, a healer or something, or, or DPS, you could have a tank, but that wouldn't be in the crossword. There's, it's too niche knowledge. Maybe in 30 years when people our age are old, but, uh, well, my age anyway. Um, tank alternative. A 
10 is like not really correct. It's it's analogous to a tank. Like you could put fish in a tank and you could put pigs in a pen, but you don't get to pick. You can't put pigs in a tank or fish in a pen. <laughs> all right, well anyway, indicate seems okay. Let's move on. We're all equals here? I don't know, that's a little bit, that's a little bit idiomatic and could be correct. What about the crosses? Schedule issuer for short. Well, the boss issues schedules at like a, a shift work kind of place. Uh, the, they're, they're like um, sports organizations issue schedules to teams. Like this, this week you're gonna play against those guys. So this could be like the MLB or something like that, or the NFL. But for some reason, I feel like baseball has the strongest association with the word schedule in my mind, more than like um, football. I don't think there's a good reason for that. I think they both have schedules. Uh, swift and sudden. Full... All, all at once is too long, but it's so cool, right? All in one? No. Strenuous thing to pull. An all-nighter is a strenuous thing to pull. I'm pretty happy with that compared to the stuff I already had, so I'm going to... Erase equals. I mean, like, your ACL is also a thing that, like, you don't like to pull, but that's not exactly strenuous. Um, a pet that can regrow its tail. I mean, various kinds of lizards. Maybe the answer is just lizard, actually. Yeah. Bird that lent its name to Toledo's AAA team. Oh, a triple A team? Doesn't that mean like, um, isn't that like the minor leagues of baseball? Like not even, not the MLB, but like one of the teams that's in like the, the league, I guess is the word for the, the league below that. I don't know any teams in that are triple A teams, if that's what that means. Um, if it were like a an MLB team, I might guess like Oriole or something, but I don't I don't think I don't think that's what it is. Setting for the Golden Girls. Still don't know. Unlikely place to find bars. Yeah, okay. Something er? Okay. We're, whoa. Uh, this is not a very comfortable uh, ZL combo here. Maybe it's not all nighter, maybe it's not lizard, but I feel like it has to be lizard. Individually. Don't know. 1949 novel set in the Wyoming Territory? What is wrong with you crossword people? This is Shane. Shane. I was trying to think of that. Um, I don't know about it being in Wyoming specifically, but it's a you know, kind of West, well, not, I don't, I've never read Shane. Maybe once in high school, but I don't, I don't think so. But uh, the Wyoming Territory sort of makes sense and the time period seems about right. 
And I have that AN, <laughs> right? Uh, Pacific Ocean Phenomenon? What the heck is a phenomenon that one ocean has that others don't? The, like, the Marianas Trench, I don't know which ocean it's in. I think it's the Pacific. Hawaii is in the Pacific. Um, so there could be some kind of like volcanic island chain or something. I don't know. They have an itis named after them. Don't have any ideas here. Suffix for a fan gathering. A fan gathering. I kind of think this time fan actually means people who are appreciative of something and not like machines that blow air. A fan gathering. Um... Oh, I should know this. A con? Like a comic con? If we erase this C, could be a con. Sicilian town ending with O is totally plausible. And an N here would be nice, because we could end with ING. All right, I'll pencil that in instead of a mesh. And then um, maybe pencil in the ING as well. Hmm. In Literature. I, th I thought briefly it said in brief, and I was like, what? An abbreviation for a town? No, okay. And tangle up. Could mean tangle up like romantically somehow or socially. Hmm. Uh, fabric feature a hem some fabrics are hemmed or like i don't know it's more about clothes the clothes that are made out of fabrics are hemmed not really the fabrics themselves Performing well. <sighs> mm, I don't know. Could mean like performing well like at school or at work, or it could mean like a stock is performing well. Or maybe someone on stage is performing well. <laughs> or, or like, to really stretch things, suppose that somewhere there was a well, like the thing that you put a bucket into and get water from, that was just like doing a bang up job. <laughs> that would be a perf No, no, that wouldn't be, that would be a well performing well. But a, a performing well would be if there were a well out there that like had a song and dance act or like a, a, a if it had a speaker to play music or something. Forgive me, the, the Saturday makes me a bit uh, silly. An evil spirit could be a ghost, I guess. Ghosts aren't necessarily, oops, necessarily evil, but they are spirits and sometimes they're evil, so why not? Alternative to stand. Uh, hit me. Is I was thinking like something you could uh, do that kind of means the same thing as as hit as stand, but no, they mean something you could do instead of stand. 
uh, in blackjack, you can stand or you can you can say hit me. Broadway character who sings the gods love Nubia. Don't know. 1960 Miles Davis album inspired by flamenco music. Nope. American Pie actor Eddie. I have to know an actor's middle name. Get out of here. Plumbing fitting with a bend while well, a U bend. But you can't just write that because bend is in the clue. Don't know. Unresponsive. Something unresponsive is inert, like a gas. Spark plugs. It's nine letters. Don't know. Something found near a six pack. Uh, this makes me think they're talking about muscles. Like. A peck is a muscle that's found near a six pack. An Uno card with a slash circle is skip. Anyway, in the modern printing, I remember when I was a kid, the Uno card just said S and R on them for skip and reverse. Um, so this actually could be a peck. Dandy, I don't know, could be Dane. <laughs> uh, probably not with the S here. But I'll, I'll go ahead and write in peck, now that we have a P to confirm it, or anyway suggest it. It's nice to see. I don't know. Kane? Kate? Eddie Kate? I don't know, that would be kind of surprising. ISP once called Quantum Computer Services, AOL? I don't know about this being their previous name, but it's abbreviated because it says ISP and it's three letters. Uh, so let's try AOL. Uh, word in the survivor motto. I have no idea what the survivor motto is. I've never watched a season of survivor. Ticklish area. Armpit, I guess. Hooch holder. You would hold hooch in a flask. Lean and hungry type in a hollow notes hit. I don't know. Port in county carry. Don't know. Cell phone account offering. Free text. Free data. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's either of those. Looks inside. Uh, what's the, I don't, like, what does the question mark mean? I don't know. They may be under the table. You can pay people under the table, like your salaries. Oh, maybe that's all it is. Apparently is. Seems? Mm, I don't think so. Emmett Smith's 175 for short. Who the heck is Emmett Smith? I feel like I should know. Is he like a football player? Could this be TDs? Hmm. Well, we could put an S here, I guess, since it it's something there's 175 of, right? I'll even pencil in TDs. He might be a football player, like a quarterback or something. That's someone who would notably have 175 of something that's the, that could be abbreviated to three letters. Uh, front desk handout. Well, you hand out someone's key at the front desk of a hotel. Uh, 
but I kind of like the S. Landmark Civil Rights Legislation of 1990. Was the ADA only passed in 1990? I feel like that must be it, but I didn't know that was so new. All right, let's go work on the downs starting from the top here, I guess. Bird with an H in it. I don't know. Swift and sudden. <laughs> no, no good ideas there. Schedule issuer. Word after speed or drunk. Speed line, drunk line. Tangle up, n, in, <sighs> we've looked at these before and I don't have any great ideas for them. Yeah, get me, get me some new ones, please. I haven't seen before. Met. Villains often. Met villains often. Now, this could mean encountered villains. The often would mean it's like a category of villains that you often run into. But it could also mean like the Met is a place, right? The metropolitan something or other? Like, is it a, a, an arena you play sports in or something, maybe? It could be rivals of a team that plays at the Met. I don't know. Big name in retirement accounts. I don't know who has retirement accounts. What? More than none. Well, some is more than none. Company whose logo symbolizes the union of four manufacturers. Don't know. Not wing it. Well, if you don't wing it, you stay on script or You like generally do what you planned or you prepared. Commuter scooter is a Vespa. Ooh, this OV is interesting. It almost has to be an E here, right? Cause like what else can you end like O V A, like that's a word, but it's not the end of a nine letter word. Yeah, I think this almost has to be an E. I still don't know what would go here. Love, stove, <laughs> I don't know. Um, where to find bliss? Don't know. Danity, yeah, Danity, what a weird name. It's nice to see. It's just a little bit too short for spectacle, but it could be something starting with spec, perhaps. Spec. Hmm. Blank Octavius, Spider-Man villain. Oh no, I knew about Doc Ock, but I don't remember the, the person's first name. German title, ugh. 
Tear. It's not exactly a title. It's more of like a, a form of address, but like it could be a title, maybe. And it's like Mr., which is that a title? Yeah, kind of. In English it is. So, you know, they, when you're filling out a form that's like how you want to be addressed, that might go in your title for, field. Bland in a way. Uh, I don't know. Hot tamale. Okay, so maybe it's not salaries. Consultants customer. A client. Windy event. Huh. Also could be windy event. No very bright ideas though. Acronymic weapons. Oh, probably ends with S. Oh, this could be seams and still, I guess. Acronymic weapons. Gosh, that's a lot of letters for an acronym, you know? Comic Wanda. Wanda Sykes, right? Is it spelled like this? I'm not sure. Um, hang on, I'll, uh, I'll be right with you. Okay, I think it's spelled this way, but it might be like an I. Join. Join. Opt in is not really join. You can join things together by welding them or various other kinds of structural manipulations. You can opine on something, but that's not really joining anything, I don't think. Extract juice from. Rind isn't like a verb or something, is it? Even if it were, I'm not sure how it would apply here. Blank. Ah, late chase. This is trace late chase. It's some kind of, uh, I'm not even really sure what trace late chase is, but it's a thing. Late chase means milk, so this is the three milks, but like, it's some kind of sweet thing, maybe? I'm not sure. Front desk handout. All right, well, now that we don't have uh, salaries, we can put key here pretty comfortably, I think. Although, what the heck is this? I don't know. Something meets. <laughs> I went to an under the table yak meet. Um, probably not, huh? Okay, and that's all the downs. Any acrosses that we have like new downs for? None of those are new. Psh. Old Dodge Love. Okay, I have uh, several letters in this now, but I don't know any Miles Davis albums, so I'm not gonna get the last 10 letters in this. Kyle? If we had an... I 
don't know. Kyle doesn't seem very good. Plumbing fitting with a bend. Don't know. Spark plugs. Well, they're they're car parts, but that's too short. Maybe there's something else to do with cars. I'm okay with AOL at this point. Word in the survivor motto. I have no idea what the survivor motto is. I just can't even guess from these letters. Lean and hungry type. We don't have K's at the beginning of a lot of words. Um, but you know, just based on the structure of the words that intersect at this letter, I'm okay putting a T in because like A blank ER and OP blank, there's just not a lot of letters that, that work there well, that well, right? And it helps that opt is like a word and also a prefix of words. Port and county carry, I still don't really know what that means. Normally when we talk about counties, we would say carry county or something. So county carry maybe is something else. Like a county, the name for a county, I assume, comes from count, right? The titled person. I assume a county was an area of land owned by a count. Um, these days we just use it to mean like a division of land smaller than a state basically in the u.s but so maybe maybe in other countries like england for example maybe they say county foo instead of foo county i don't know okay so i thought this might be something line for cell phones and this is looking a lot like opt-in But I don't know what this ED blank blank could be. I mean, it doesn't have to be ED. Key and ADA could both be wrong. Like extra line, I could understand. But I don't know what's four letters here. Looks inside. So this could be like, you know, you re when you reflect on something, you're kind of looking inside. Um, or like, you know, when, I don't know. They might be under the table. I feel like this is enough letters that I should figure out something, right? I mean, suppose that I got rid of key. Cause like they hand out other stuff at the front desk, like your badge at a convention or something. Or a pin, I don't know. A pen? They would hand out a pen at the front desk, maybe, in some situations. I don't know. I did say I would not get super far on a Saturday. And honestly, I don't really want to go away and come back. Saturdays are just demoralizing. 
I think we're going to use make liberal use of the hint features on this one just to, to like get some closure on it. So I'm okay with just already asking like, God, I wish you would stop bouncing around. Check the puzzle for me. Yes, I know I won't get a streak. Okay, a lot of it was right. Um, but not all. This is kind of interesting. What the heck kind of word G-O-H blank blank, G-H-O blank blank is not a ghost? A ghoul. I don't think of them as spirits, but okay. Whose logo symbolizes the union of foreign manufacturers. Ugh. Not wing it. Still don't know. It's kind of interesting that this isn't lizard. What else could it be? Oh, you know what? I bet they use a bugle at a flag lowering ceremony. Uh, like the military likes buglers. Met villains often. Yeah, I don't think it can really be like the past tense of a verb met, right? Because there's just not enough room to end this with ed and still fit in a word that means met, right? Based, you know, a, e, i, o, u, y, like none of those make any sense here. So it must be like the place or or maybe the, the Mets are a team and the villain of a Met is a something. In which case it's plural, right? I don't know, um, check what I have so far. Yeah, it was Bugler, but it's not this S, huh? Oh, okay, more specific than a lizard is an iguana. Sure. Is the Golden Girls in Miami? Seems plausible. Um, okay, so I thought it might be the IRS. Tax schedules they issue? <clears throat> I don't think I mentioned them, but that was one thing I was thinking of at some point, but didn't have like a clear enough formation of it in my head. Uh, swift and sudden. Well, it's not metered. That's kind of the opposite of swift and sudden. Oh, maybe it is we're all equals here. Now that, um, nope. <laughs> it's not how you spell equals. All right, did I, did I get this much right? I did. Bird? What the heck kind of bird looks like this? I mean, C and S are the letters that fit best in this kind of like before, before an H. But I don't know any birds with that in their name. Someone who met villains often is beset by them, I guess. This is just such a weird one. I 
Aha! Swift and sudden. I was like, you know what ends with an I? I blank is ick, something ick. And then I realized this is meteoric. And someone who is performing well is in a groove. Huh. Ah, the Metropolitan, Op Metropolitan Opera. The villains often have deep voices. They are bossy. They have an itis. Ah, senior itis. Okay. A mud hen? Really? We're all adults here? Okay. So that all should be correct, right? Yeah. Cool. ROTC, I guess, has retirement accounts. Oh, no, Roth, as in Roth IRA. Switches? Maybe? Then this could be like ice somethings. That's not an I. There we go. Yeah, it's not switches, but it was Roth. Hmm. Stitches? No, because we don't have an I here. Well, I guess I should find out if it's a car or something, right? Cell phone account offering could be add a line, but not really. Because it should be a verb, a noun, not a verb, because it's an offering. They may be under the table. Maybe less metaphorical, like what's under an actual table. Extract juice from, ugh. Man, I need some more help. Um, all right, what is, what is this word? Enlace? Ugh, okay. Marina? That's not really a phenomenon of the Pacific Ocean. I suspect this will be wrong when I hit check, right? Yeah. But the A and the I were right, huh? What the heck? Patina is not associated with the Pacific Ocean. This isn't dicing, is it? Don't don't tell me this is dicing. It is? Oh no. What a terrible word. Where would you not find bars? In churches. Um, I don't know. Okay, I mean, what's this Pacific Ocean phenomenon then? Lan, oh, La Nina. Okay. All right, sure. 
Oh, speed dial or drunk dial. Okay. I mean, this seems like it ought to be all, but no, D and D L N O is not a thing, right? Like this kind of has to be a vowel, right? A L A C A something? A L E? A L I, A L O, A L U? None of those make any sense to me. All right, well, tell me the answer. A. Great. <laughs> That doesn't help me very much because I still don't know what this is. All right, give me give me this one too. Dead. What? Find bars. Dead. It's not the Dead Sea. Although that's like jumping out at me, that's too short and also doesn't make much sense. Okay, how about this letter? Maybe this will help. A la carte. Yeah, maybe if I had just, before I even asked for this, the R, I probably could have said a la. I, I, I was having trouble realizing there was a word division there. Okay. Just a heightened sense of awareness. I don't know. Woof. Who has a name blank TT? It's got to be OTT, right? Oh, the other kind of tank I didn't even think of when I was listing the kinds of tanks. A tank top. Oh, no. Another kind of bar I didn't even think of. Your cell phone has no bars if you're in a dead spot. Ugh. Saturdays, man. Just a heightened sense of awareness. Para... I don't know. Huh. All right. Well, that was interesting. Um, give me this Broadway character, I guess. Ida, all right. Paranoid is a heightened paranoia is a heightened sense of awareness, sure. Fabric feature. Or what's this company? Can't think of any companies whose names look like that. A net is like a net, a fabric feature somehow. Ah, if you don't wing something, you're planned it. A nip? I don't know, sure. Well, IUD doesn't seem right. Nap, Audi. They have four rings as their logo. This could end with Paint Spain somehow? Something of Spain? All right. Oh, and it's not car something, by the way. Flamenco is like Spanish. Where to find bliss? Happy life? No?
Something bland. Sure, fire fits here, but that doesn't really mean bland. German title. Ugh, not sure. Auto, perhaps? Well, no, probably not, huh? Well, P something, I don't know. We'll check it. It was auto. PT? Could it be like a P tube? No, that's just too bad. I refuse to accept an SB. Cat Elizer. No. Cat. What the heck does a spark plug do? Catalysts? Okay. It really looks like happy. Oh, you find bliss at your happy place. Sure. P trap. A trap is kind of a plumbing thing that has a bend in it. Frau, the opposite of hair. Not the opposite, the analog of hair, the, the feminine. Bland in a way, something is salt free. Outplay, I guess. Port. Is Tracy a port town? Actually, I don't even know if Tracy is a place. Windy event. Uh, it is windy. A slalom is a windy event. You wind back and forth between the, the flags. Acronymic weapons. Oh, tasers. Sure. Trolley and decors. Yes, looks inside. Okay. Let's just check that that's all right. Yes. Stitches of Spain, swatches of Spain, sketches of Spain. I don't know about that. Extract juice from, I don't know, like. It's not, I don't think it's rind, but I can't think of anything else it could be. I'll tell you what, why don't you give me this word? That'll help me get started down here. Ream? Huh. Lean and hungry type. A man eater, perhaps? I'm not so sure, but it could be. Is this really add a line? I don't like that very much, if it is. Um, it's nice to see. Yeah, eye candy is nice to see. Payments can be under the table. Front desk hands out a map. OK. K? Yeah. I really don't like add a line. It's not an offering, right? It's like they will offer to add a line, but add a line is not one of their offerings, right? An offering is a thing, not an action, is my opinion. So I don't quite understand why this is allowed. All right, well. Definitely needed a lot of help, but that's not too surprising in a Saturday. Um, and I got, you know, aside from this area up here, I didn't need that many letters given to me. I needed my letters checked a lot, and I had to go back and second guess some things. I don't know. Uh, you know, it's not the worst Saturday performance I've ever had. So anyway, that's that's what the Saturday looks like. It's a rough one. Um, and uh, we'll do the mini. And on Saturdays, the mini is seven by seven instead of five by five. What a big, uh, what a nice, nice. Um, what's the word I'm thinking of? A treat, I guess. 
Not fall behind is keep up. Seinfeld character who's a terrible dancer. I don't know, Kramer probably. No, because it must be Elaine. Because he had large parts of beer as a keg. Light bulb in the kitchen? A light bulb. Ugh, this is about like a, a bulb as like the seed of some plant, I assume. Sports org planning to restart its season at Disney World? NHL? I, I, uh, I don't know. Keen eyed. I'm not sure. Line separating two countries is a border. Opposite of tacky is stylish, but that's too long. Hyundai model Eldora, no? I don't know. Small headphones are ear buds or perhaps ear pods? No, those are AirPods, right? I don't know what the Apple thing is called. Popular exercise class, Pilates. College in British lingo is uni. Chest muscle is a peck. Ah, garlic, yes. NBA, I guess. Um, the Bachelor Error, <laughs> I don't know. NBC, probably. Maybe CBS. Dormi Faso. Am I supposed to put an O in E there? Suffix with quack or hack. Well, I don't know. But someone eagle eyed is astute. Opposite of tacky. Classy. Ah, quackery and hackery, I see. I so I never I always thought that the scales were all like two letter, right? Do re mi fa so la ti do. So I don't know why soul is one of them. It's not like soul ah, is it? I thought it was so la. So this is I've seen this before and it's it's weird to me. Anyway, uh, we're done with the mini and with the crossword and with this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.